We're under attack! Nemo! Mission on Jitsun! Hello guys, welcome. Today, we will make me for gameplay analysis again. This is random player gameplay from Dota TV. And this is my first time I use my real voice. I'm sorry for the bad English and pronunciation. So yeah, without any further ado, let's go. Let's talk about enemy heroes. Snapfire. Most of Snapfire skill are AoE abilities. She has slow cooldown AoE stun from cookies, AoE magic, and AoE slow from scatter blaze and Mortimer kisses. So these zero are so good against me, Pop. Next, Magnus. All Magnus skill are AoE abilities. He has empower buff, annoying low cooldown skewer, and of course the ultimate skill RP. RP can be used to counter the team fight, like he can suddenly jump into the team fight, and on the right position, RP can also cancel the black hole. Next, Tiny. Tiny also has low cooldown AoE stun, and this hero is good to burst single target enemy using the Avalentos combo. Next, Anti Mage. As we know, Mipo is like anti-mage natural counter because power spike anti-mage is slower than Mipo, so he can easily be killed by Mipo. But because empower, it will be different stories. Anti-mage farming with empower buff can a bit faster, so he can buy defensive item faster too, like BKB. Next, Shadowfin. All Shadowfin skills are so good. He has AoE magic damage, AoE armor reduction, and good ultimate skill to control the team fight. The ultimate can burst and fear the enemy. I will explain more about Shadowfin later during the Shadowfin vs Meepo on the landing stage. So yeah, overall, enemy heroes are so good. They have every low cooldown stun and good fall up damage with every magic damage. And I think in mid game, to support less Magnus or to support plus Shadowfin is enough to kill Meepo. And also, even though anti mage controlled by Meepo, in the late game, anti mage don't need to face to face with Meepo. He can just jump to the back line while his teammate aiming Meepo. And lastly, even though the hero don't have defensive skill, but as long as they all stick together, they can help each other. So yeah, I think enemy draft are so good against Meepo. And the next one, let's talk about Planning Sage Shadowfin versus Meepo. In the mid lane, Shadowfin got the advantage because Shadowfin is range hero and Mipo is melee hero. Shadowfin can easily harass Mipo with right click or he can land easily 3 red stuff to Mipo. So in the mid lane, Shadowfin can easily dominate the lane. And lastly, in terms of farming, both of them have some capability. Shadowfin with Raze and Meepo with Poof. Look here. Meepo decide to block the creep instead of helping the teammate secure the rune. Like staying in here, in here, or in here. The reason is simple. Meepo want the creep to stay near the tower because he plays against Shadowfin which is hard if the creep is in here. I will speed up and slow down the game and maybe skip some part later. The creep staying near the tower and this is good because Mipo can get the 
exp and agro recruit oh ah uh, ini mistake from shadowfin in here unreasonable move from shadowfin like he's staying here and move back to here this is unreasonable move i think better for shadowfin staying in here so the prison itself can put pressure on mipo like if mipo want to aggro the creep he need to get closer to the creep box and while mipo get closer shadowfin can harass mipo but this is unreasonable move i don't know why shadowfin move back so this is a good for mipo he can aggro without worries and he can get the x the exp from this creep see the creep mipo can aggro the creep easily without pressure and he get the exp in this game shadowfin also hesitant to use the raise i don't know why but this is bad i mean like not a big deal to use a raise so mipo eat the region item and in here mipo by of venom it's good to slow down shadowfin if there's a chance to kill shadowfin and look in here by 3 red stack mipo lost more than half hp okay okay this is good opportunity for mipo like he need one creep to get level 4 and this creep is low hp so when the creep coming in here the tower can kill the creep and usually when the creep goes to the tower sf usually follow the creep and trying to get closer to mipo to harass mipo or maybe hit the tower so this is a good chance for mipo to kill the sf while he get the level 4 he can suddenly strike to shadowfin so shadowfin cannot use the raise stack let's see what happened Mipo die here. Let's see what happened. Mipo die here while Snapfire is missing. Yeah, this is a normal mistake, normal play that he does not expect Snapfire coming to meet. And actually, he want to get the xp from the script and then move back one mipo and then the main mipo teleport back to the base in here he buy the tp straw right but because the unexpected guest coming the plan don't go as we plan Okay, let's see what happened. In here, Ogre came to mid and put some ward. And in the same position, Shadowfin a bit greedy. I don't know why Shadowfin coming in here. 
like this only a CG creep like hard to kill I don't know why SF moving to here I think better for SF to go to the jungle and farming again so when SF coming to me like this Mipo can play aggressive and trying to kill SF again Okay, Mipo die again. Let's see what happened. When Mipo goes to mid, the tiny and sniper show in the minimap. And then they are missing in here. So the possible position of sniper and tiny is in here or in here. In this situation, Mipo trying to get the EXP from this creep. And I think after so Tiny and Sniper staying in here, Mipo better to farming in here. Because if Mipo staying in here, they will dive to Mipo. And if Mipo staying in here, they will also dive on Mipo. But when Mipo staying in here, the tower vision can see the movement of tiny and sniper so when Mipo saw they dive Mipo can just escape to here if Mipo farming in here but Mipo farming in here and then tiny and sniper dive to Mipo Yeah, this is a mistake for Mipo because bad map awareness, I think. After respawning, Mipo back to mid again and trying to kill Tiny. Mipo die again in here. I think after Tiny toss Mipo, better for Mipo to just retreat and don't trying to kill the Tiny. So in this fight, Mipo die because he is greedy want to kill the Tiny. Okay, Mipo die again, and uh, let's see what happens. When Mipo farming in here, Tiny and Seraphine showing up at mid, and then... The reason why Mipo trying to kill Seraphine is because he close to get level 11. Like when he strike to Sharofin, he can move to Mipo and kill one creep and get the level 11. But I think this is a dangerous move because in the previous part, we see the tiny and Sharofin staying at mid. So when Sharofin pushing tower like this, there must be a tiny beside him or maybe another hero beside Shadowfin because all hero are missing in the minimap so yeah this is a greedy move and bad move from Mipo okay he kill anti mage let's see what happened after Mipo respawn and Mipo teleport behind the trees and after the tower fall, anti-mage still farming 
and this is a greedy move from empty mage he want to clear this creep first before moving to another area and this is a good chance for me pot to kill empty mage Mipo almost die. Let's see what happened. structures are fortified. Here. When enemy for using the fortification, the another area condition are so good. I mean no one pushing the tower. So the fortification like this, this will be uh, some indication that they will trying to kill somebody like the only possible thing is they will coming to the top and killing the Mipo so I think after enemy using the fortification like this Mipo should just move away and escape from this position but in here Mipo is still farming and he almost died. Luckily, Snapfire and Magnus don't have ultimate yet, so Mipo can escape. Okay, Mipo die here. Let's see what happened. Okay, in here, Shadowfin stunned by Ogre and Alchemist using their unstable concoction. I credit to continue stun the Shadowfin. And I think in this position, Enigma should see the minimap and see what happened in here. So before he use teleport, I think he can decide to helping the team fight in the bottom area. So like this, when Magnus use the RP and Enigma staying in here. Enigma can counter the team fight and turn around the fight in here. But because Enigma is still farming, they are losing and they are dying. Okay, Mipo die again. Let's see what happened. There. There's a fight in the mid lane. After the team fight happened at mid, I think for me, Po better to just poof away and don't trying to poof in the same place. There are a chance for enemy to coming to top and trying to kill Mipo while his poof are cooled on. Yeah, Mipo die in here also because he is, he is greedy. Like, he can just uh, make some creep low HP and then poof to poof away and don't need to poof in the same place like this okay in here the decision from Mipo trying to kill Shadowfin Snapfire are dead Magnus and Anti-Mage Show at the bottom lane 
and shadow fin farming deep near tier 2 tower so me for trying to kill him and even though he failed to kill shadow fin but this is a good decision Nipo die again in here, let's see what happened. In here, after four enemies show up in the middle lane like this, I think better for Mipo to just bling away or poof away to bottom because if Mipo staying in here he will do nothing even if he trying to kill Snapfire maybe he get the kill but he will also give his life to the enemy and this is a bad move but if Mipo poof away to bot he can trying to kill the intimate solo See in here. If Mipo poof away, like in this position, the main Mipo can jump to anti mage, and he can solo kill the anti mage because anti mage has no defensive item, and anti mage already used the manta. So if Mipo poof away to bottom and blink to anti mage. He will definitely kill the anti mage. The Mipo respawn. Alchemist uh, give him scepter, so this is a good item, Ex expensive item, and this item will be use useful for Mipo. Mipo jump like this without worries because he know that he can save himself using the scepter. Enemy don't know that Mipo has scepter. And Shadowfin use the ultimate plus BKB. And after winning the fight like that, we can also get the advantage from IGC Mortal. trying to kill Magnus but Magnus using RP and bling away and then at mid tiny hitting to greedy like tossing ogre to shadowfin while shadowfin bkb and ultimate are cool down. and then we poke coming to mid and it slow down In this game, anti mage by butterfly, and this is a good thing when you play Mipo against player who don't know about Mipo. Anti mage buying butterfly to counter the right click for Mipo, but because only few player play Mipo, anti mage don't know that Mipo has true strike talent, 
So the butterfly from Antimage useless in this game. He spent 5k gold to buy useless item against Mipo. Think better for Antimage to buy BKB and make his hero survive longer with BKB. The rest of the game, enemy throwing so much, like they go and die one by one. I'm a bit nervous making this video because I'm not fluent in English but I will try to improve my English so yeah I'm sorry for my bad English and pronunciation see you in next video